Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we'll just be doing a simple scrape painting. We're gonna use these uh, these greens and this brown that I've got because, well, they're starting to dry out, but also because I don't really feel like I'm gonna use them any other time. Um, so I may as well use them together and make kind of a, like an earthy forest kind of colored uh, painting. So that's what we're gonna use today. Uh, so I've got a you know a light green. Uh, this is brilliant yellow green, Liquitec Basics. Uh, also a light green permanent. This one is a sap green, which is Artist Loft, and then we've got a raw sienna with Liquitex. So we'll go ahead and uh, give me a second. I'm gonna throw on some gloves and we'll be off to the races here. Hopefully your day was you know. Hopefully your day is going well whenever you watch this. Uh, for me, it's a Friday. Well, it's I guess it's Saturday now. It's, it's after 12, so you know, it's super late. Everyone else is sleeping and I just kind of needed some time to, to get away and, you know, just, you know, just have a little bit of downtime. So we're going to start with uh, this dark green. But like I said, hopefully you're your day or your week is going well for you. Uh, my week went pretty well, not gonna lie. It, uh, the other day I was kind of reminded, you know, I, I was a little frustrated earlier this week. I had some things going on financially and, you know, that uh, we're a little, little bit worried about, but to be honest, I was reminded that, you know, life is kind of about perspective, you know, I was worried about some things that were going on that really, even if they happened or didn't happen, you know, I'd probably be okay. And, uh, you know, my, my wife and I, we actually support a, a child through something called compassion, which is where you, you know, you sponsor child or children from other countries, um, or you'll, you know, you help them out with uh, with resources and so we do that and um, you know we had just started sponsoring the child and we got the welcome packet a few days ago about the time that we were kind of you know stressing out about the the financial things that were going on for us and you know we were reading through that packet and they were talking about how this child's parents who is in Bolivia this child's parents will work uh, all month, the equivalent of uh, money that they make is about twenty-two dollars. So twenty-two dollars is a, is the amount that they make. You know, U.S. dollars, I guess, is how they rate it. But twenty-two U.S. dollars all month. Just thinking about that, you know, I make that in two hours at work. So the point of that is that. You know, reading that kind of kind of struck me that I make more money in two hours than this this kid's family makes in a month, and it was kind of a sobering thing to read because it reminded me that as as bad as I might have it, you know, there's always people that kind of have things a little bit rougher than I do, and uh, you know sometimes I think we just we forget that because we get caught up in our own lives and that's okay I mean that that happens to everyone I think but you know reading that it was just a good reminder that you know what it yeah sometimes it's rough but it could always be rougher and that's not to you know demean or belittle anyone's problems I mean my my issues are still there and I'm still dealing with them but when I was able to kind of put that in perspective and think about you know this kid that we sponsor and and how much less they have compared to how how little I have or how much I have, it just kind of put it in perspective. So it was a good reminder that uh, you know what I'm really grateful to have the things that I have. Really grateful to have you know a wife and kids and a home and a job that I like. So you know I. I don't know. I just thought I'd share that because sometimes I think that we we get caught up in the things that we're facing that we forget, you know, that uh, that it could always be worse. Of course, it could always be better, but 
you know, life is difficult. That's kind of the, I think that's kind of the point. We just live and uh, we, we survive and, you know, we get used to surviving. And we get used to doing the things we always do. Then sometimes we just get caught up in that. And, you know, it happens. But anyway, I just thought I, I just wanted to share that. You know, if you're, if you're down about something, just remember that, you know, it's going to be okay everything works out in the end that's just kind of how life is so coming back to this painting um you can you've probably seen that we've got these the white spots here and they're not getting colored in a little bit by a little they are but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and use this paint that's here that's available to fill in the little gaps here Just so I don't have any more white spots. All right, so now that we've got all that colored in, I'm gonna go over this one more time. Now, I'm gonna really push into this painting <clears throat> so that it pulls off that top layer and pulls it along. So basically the way that this works is, if you don't push very hard, the less hard you push, so the lighter you, you apply the pressure, the more of that color that you just put on, you're gonna see. But the harder you push and the, the, whole, the harder you pull it, the more it pulls that color along further. So you pull more of the bottom layers up, which is kind of what I want to do here because I, I don't just want a thick grain, like a thick sienna layer, which actually that, that's pretty good. That, that pulled it into kind of a pocket. That's not bad, I can work with that. So now we'll go ahead and add our last uh, green here. And just wants to uh, wants to be kind of ornery, I guess. I put a lot in that little pocket, but that's okay. These colors are almost out. And I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't really want to do this painting with these colors, but I don't hate them. Uh, I really don't. I, I want to say that I, I thought I was going to, I'll be honest. I didn't think, uh, didn't think these colors were going to play well together, but it's not doing too bad. Now this is the issue that <clears throat> I, I figured I was going to run into, and it's uh, it's this kind of this uh, carve here. So let's see if I can smooth that out. Yeah, I figured it was going to do this. So I'm just going to pull over that a little bit and. All right, well, I probably can't fix it a whole lot, but honestly, I, <clears throat> I didn't expect this to kind of turn out as good as it did. It actually turned out better than I, I wanted. To be honest, a lot of times when I do the, the scrape, uh, I try to not put a whole lot of pressure into it because I, I kind of want the layers or the colors to layer. Um, now, the white parts of the painting could have been avoided if I had painted it first, the background. I did not. I always mean to, and then I just kind of get excited to to actually scrape the paint that I just I just don't even do the background. I, I should get into the habit of of doing the background for these scrape paintings. I really need to learn that lesson. I just haven't yet, apparently, because I keep running into having white backgrounds. But we'll get it one day, I promise. Maybe in the next video. I make no promises that it will be in the next video, but I do promise that I'll get it. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, uh, I guess I could show you the painting. So let me, you know, in classic fashion, we'll take this paint off and we'll take a look at it. Uh, honestly, it turned out better than I expected, but I don't, I don't, I still don't really like the painting. Uh, just because the colors. You know what? 
It reminds me of camouflage. I just realized that. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. I don't, I'm not a big fan of camouflage, but you know, it kind of reminds me of that. So I guess the colors aren't so bad. Uh, if it had turned out a little better, I think on the layers, then it probably wouldn't be so bad. Also, when I do the close up and I show you guys the painting, uh, I'm gonna show you that the, the paint did start to separate because, you know, like, like I said in one of my other videos, you know, the paint's been out in my garage too long, so it's starting to dry out. Um, so there's a little separation in the paint. Um, and because there's a breakdown in those chemicals and like the binders that's in the paint, it, uh, there's like these little ripples in there. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about when I show you. So that, that's kind of an issue just because, uh, that means that the paint is not smooth when it gets applied, which can be kind of an issue. So, okay, now that I've got that off, let's go ahead and take a look, guys. And we'll let me zoom out and I'll tilt it so there's not so much light on it. So that's actually, let's do the overview. So this is the final piece, okay? And we'll, uh, we'll kind of zoom in here. Yeah, sorry. Maybe I can do that. So overall, again, um, better than I expected, but oh yeah, that's what I was going to show you. See, you see how this is smooth. And then over here, you can see like the refraction, refractions, yeah, refractions of the light, the little dimples. So yeah, the little bubbles right there. So that is, that's the actual binder in the paint breaking down because, you know, it got left in the uh, garage too long. So it started to, so like, it's not dried out where, you know, it's hard, but it's starting to break down because of that. So because the paint set in the heat and it's like it, it got hot from the summer, but then it cooled down a few months later. The paint I've had for like a year or two. So it's, you know, if it's kept in cool conditions for quite some time, I'm sure it would last a couple of years. But because of that, it, it's breaking down. So, you know, if you can keep your paints in a cool area, uh, like a temperature controlled area, you'll want to do that just so that kind of doesn't happen. But I actually bought the acrylic for my wife or my kids to use. They never used it, so I'm using it now. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will, uh, I'm going to go get some sleep because, like I said, it's about almost 1 o'clock now. And uh, I'm starting to get tired. So I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care, guys. Bye.